guys, this is Giselle and today is another rainy day here in Japan. But that doesn't stop me from my trip today. To celebrate my 6th year here in Japan, I decided to have a 3-day vacation in one of the nearest hot spring town from Tokyo, Hakone. It's just about 2 hours train ride from Tokyo but for me, it's 3 hours of expressway driving. Passing through Tokyo is always fun, gives you a different perspective of the city. That's Japan's tallest structure, the Tokyo Skytree, covered in clouds. Although this is an expressway, traffic can still build up here in Tokyo especially during the morning rush hour. My first stop is Odawara. Though technically not part of Hakone, I'll check out their famous castle first. This is the main entrance to the castle grounds. To get to the main castle keep, there are three gates. The first one behind me is the Omadashimon. So let's go! Right from the entrance is the picturesque Vermilion Gakubashi Bridge above the moat and the corner turret. Look at this poor Huron, all soaked up in the rain. Inside is another moat and another gate. This is the second gate called Akaganemon, which translates to copper gate because of copper fittings on this gate's massive wooden door. And past another vermilion bridge is the third and final gate, Toki Wagimon. These Japanese makoksu look like they also don't like the weather at all. The central tower, which stands at almost 40 meters, was built in the 15th century. Although it was destroyed multiple times because of warring clans and large earthquake, it was then reconstructed to resemble the original castle. The interior features exhibits on the history of the castle. So let's have a look inside. This is rather high for an entrance. In any case, exercise is always good. There are floors where photography is allowed, and there are floors that it's not. So be wary about that. The top floor offers nice views of the park and the surrounding city. There is also a small samurai museum just across from the castle keep where samurai armor and swords are exhibited within. Looks like the weather is getting better, so let's go to my next stop. A relaxing onsen bath and nice kaiseki for lunch. This area is the Hakone Yumoto, which is basically the entrance to Hakone. There are lots of hot spring hotel here including the Tensei Egg. One of the few hotels that offers higairi or onsen for day trippers or non-staying guests for those of us who just want to soak in a nice warm bath without staying overnight. As a traditional Japanese inn, I have to leave my shoes near the entrance and walk with socks only all throughout the hotel. What I like here is that you can also roam around the hotel premises wearing yukata. Makes for a very traditional Japanese experience. Mm -hmm. 
There is a beautiful landscape within the hotel grounds and it's great for relaxation. A little foot bath while I wait for my private onsen to be available. After a nice warm bath, it's lunch time. To continue with my onsen experience, I will order a kaiseki, which is a Japanese set meal. Time to check into my hotel, which is a ryokan, or traditional Japanese inn. Again, yukata is free and there is a public concert. And a station just right behind the hotel. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and consider subscribing. And click the notification bell so you will be alerted for my next video, which is my second day here in Akone, where I visited a very scenic shrine and hop on a pirate ship. And you sell and join me again next time as we go see Japan!